All right, let's talk about Joe Burrow and the Cincinnati Bengals continuing their hot streak. Now, uh, you know, it's easy to play them in the first month of the season, apparently, but very difficult at any other point in the season because uh, they've been red hot lately. And let's start, talk about Joe Burrow and what he in particular is doing so well here. A play like this, I think, is huge because, you know, Burrow obviously was a big storyline, him getting, you know, banged up with his calf injury. And I think that with his mobility, kind of him being able to be more mobile now, it has meant a lot for Cincinnati. And this plays a good example. It's zone coverage. And you see it's going to be T. Higgins' route, going to try and get into a gap of coverage. Okay, simple enough. But I brought up the mobility. Why did I do that? That Buffalo player is going to be the key guy to watch as he's going to be blitzing on this play. Watch as when it begins, you know, you had a guard who was pulling over due to a play action, so he's able to kind of try to pick up this blitz, but, you know, it's the it's defensive back blitz here, just a little bit difficult to get all the way over, have the speed to get all the way over, and you have immediate pressure for Burrow, and this is where part of Burrow's greatness comes in. I do feel like, you know, people talk about the mobility of Josh Allen and Patrick Mahomes a ton, and I'm not quite saying that Burrow is at the level of those guys. He's not Lamar Jackson, right? But he can absolutely move, and when he's at his best, his mobility and his pocket presence is a huge part of what makes him successful, and you're going to see it on this play. Watch him sidestep the pressure. He's able to stay on his feet and then flips it over to T. Higgins, who I mentioned earlier, who was wide open on this play. That's the other aspect. And, you know, T. Higgins kind of emerging here and having his first, I feel like, T. Higgins day of the season, right? I mean, he's shown flashes this season, but this was kind of the first time. It's like, oh, yeah, he is a number one receiver. We saw that again. This is, you know, what really gets you excited if you're a Cincinnati fan. And this is the kind of thing that, you know, we're expect we just expect the Bengals to do. Like, it was weird when they were weren't doing this earlier on this season. Now they're doing this, and it's like, oh yeah, it feels normal. No, it's not normal. It's insane, but their normal is most insane for most teams. That's just where they're at. Heading over to a play like this, what's going to happen is it is a man coverage concept. You have Irv Smith Jr., the tight end. You see the route he's going to run. It's a one-on-one -on -one matchup here, and watch as when this play begins, you see that, you know, Okay, it's, is it open? Is it wide open? Is this an easy throw to make? No. I mean, there's not a ton of separation, and it's a good safety who's covering him, Jordan Poyer. So it's not really a massive mismatch. In fact, if anything, you kind of view this as advantage Buffalo a little bit, but Joe Burrow is going to trust his guy here. Really, look at this throw perfectly on the money, exactly where he wanted to you know, put it. Also, great route by Herb Smith Jr., who, again, definitely can be a, a target, certainly in the red zone. We have seen that over the course of his career. So, you know, nice to see him maybe making an impact here for Cincinnati. I'm not saying you're expecting greatness from him, but, you know, as a depth tight end, I mean, you know, good job by him. But really, again, good stuff by Burrow to understand the leverage, understand he could throw it over Poyer on that play and just making a great throw. Like, this one's another one where, again, it's one of those matchup things for Cincinnati where, you know, Buffalo likes to play a lot of zone coverage, but uh, feels like they kind of have to play man against Cincinnati because, uh, you know, Burrow can just pick apart zone. But the obvious issue is that they can also just they have ton of, a ton of guys who can win one-on-one -on -one matchups. And, you know, I brought up this was kind of the T. Higgins game, 110 yards. It was also a Tyler Boyd game. He had 56 yards in this game, uh, which, you know, again, for Tyler Boyd, I don't know if he's had quite the season we're used to seeing to start this year. He's usually a guy who floats around 800 yards, does have a couple of 1,000-yard seasons to his name. Uh, you know, so far through eight games, he's at 300 yards. But, you know, a good performance here to kind of, again, show that he is Tyler Boyd still. It's a third down and 10, which is always where I like to see Tyler Boyd go playing out of the slot, but running a route that's going to go towards the sideline in a, you know, one-on-one -on -one matchup in man coverage. There's a, you know, single safety deep, and actually another safety is the guy who's covering Tyler Boyd. This is the advantage of a guy like Tyler Boyd, who plays the slot, can get some favorable matchups, but can still run great routes. Watch as when Burrow takes the snap. Again, he recognizes the good matchup and is going to put the ball in that area, and you see Tyler Boyd is creating a window here, which is always what you want to see if you're Cincinnati. And as you see, really well-thrown ball by Burrow. Great catch uh, from Tyler Boyd. I mean, it was a, a great route by Tyler Boyd more than anything to get himself open. Perfectly thrown on the money by Burrow. Again, this is what the Bengals want to do. Uh, this is you know, their goal on the, you know when they're playing. Also heading over here, this is this is the fascinating play. So it's going to be man coverage, and you have T. Higgins going to be running a slant route. That's uh, the way this works on a second down and 10. Okay. Sure, you know, as I said, T. Higgins having a good game. What's he going to do here? 
We'll watch how Burrow's going to take the snap. He's going to look towards uh, Higgins on this play. And is it wide open? It's open. I mean, you could certainly get a completion here. Here is the issue. Uh, you saw, you know, the graphic on the screen. Buffalo has a couple players covering over the middle of the field. So, well, yes, Burrow, you know, who's looking in this direction, could make this throw if he wants to. Realistically, you're not gaining a bunch of yards. Again, could make an easier third down situation, but you don't want an easier third down situation. You want a first down or even a touchdown. That's what you're hoping for on this play. Uh, although, obviously, you'd rather an easier third down than a tougher third down. But Burrow is going to take a chance and is instead going to scramble outside the pocket and gets to this point where you see T. Higgins is realistically just as open as he was at the beginning of the play. The difference, though, is he's a little bit further down the field. It's an easier angle now for Burrow, and the players who are covering over the middle of the field are still covering over the middle of the field, where T. Higgins is, instead of running towards, is running away from now. So then Burrow is able to flip it to Higgins, and Higgins uh, was ruled out at the one-yard line, but still, great stuff from, you know, Cincinnati, great stuff from Joe Burrow. These were the kind of plays that Joe Burrow, you know, again, it's what he can do, right? When things go well, this is a big part of why they go well. Also, this play, it's a third down and five. And, you know, I mean, listen, uh, this is still a ball game, right? As much as this felt kind of like a wire-to-wire -wire victory, it was still always a disaster or two away from Buffalo leading. So you still had to keep, you know, moving the chains on third downs and stuff like this where, okay, third down and five, what's going to happen? Burrow takes the snap. He is going to, you know, there's pressure. So he steps up in the pocket a little bit. And at this point, again, for a lot of quarterbacks, this is not a good situation. There's not a lot they can do, but Burrow can make things happen. Watch him scramble up and he finds the correct running lane, is able to also get out of bounds and pick up the first down. These are the kind of things that Burrow is just capable of doing that a lot of quarterbacks aren't capable of doing. And again, you know, there's a lot of good with the Cincinnati offense, right? You have Jamar Chase, you have T. Higgins, you have Tyler Boyd, you know, a lot of good players. You have Irv Smith Jr., I suppose, right? Plenty of guys you can throw the football to, but Burrow's value for this Cincinnati team can't be understated. He is playing at, he's playing at an MVP level as it stands right now. I don't know if he can get there due to the kind of hole that he dug himself into at the beginning of the year uh, with some of those uh, rough early games trying to get, you know, if he wants to try and get back into that uh, mix, which was kind of the story of last season, right? Which was like he, you know, early on uh, had some bad games. And so his overall statistics weren't good enough to be an MVP candidate. But, uh, you know, even though he was probably the best quarterback in football the last like three months of the season, well, maybe that's going to happen again because like, you know, uh, in the first four games of the season, he had two touchdowns to two interceptions. But since that point, he is currently at 10 touchdowns to two interceptions. So definitely is just playing at a high level at this point and showing why he is, you know, one of the best quarterbacks in football. It's really exciting stuff to see if you're a Cincinnati Bengals fan. So yeah, those are kind of my thoughts on Joe Burrow and how he played in this one. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always... Thanks for watching.